So guys, I am coming to you with this fabulous, fabulous Lion King inspired style. <laughs> no, I'm not Beyonce, stop it. Yes, guys, I am back with another crochet slay, compliments of divatrice.com, featuring the Bobby Boss Brazilian D-Twist. This hair is so gorgeous, and it is a crochet wig. So if you would like to see my tutorial on how to make a crochet the wig, this fly, and this fabulous, keep watching, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna jump back on after the tutorial and give you my final thoughts on this hair. Make sure you join the Fit and Fabulous crew by hitting that subscribe button and going over to my playlist and doing one of my workouts. To create this crochet wig, you're going to need a crochet weaving cap. I am using a U-part braided wig cap. You're also going to need a crochet needle to latch up the hair, a mannequin head, which makes it much easier to crochet the hair in, and your favorite crochet hair. For the style, I selected the Bobby Boss Brazilian Deep Twist in 18 inches in the color 1B27. I have six packs total, but I only use five and a few strands from the six pack to achieve this look. This is the wig cap. You can see it has the u shape opening there for your leave out, and it simply has cornrows all around the braided wig cap to crochet your hair into. And you can see it has the adjustable straps on both sides. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. Beautiful blonde highlights on the end. I love the color of this hair. And this is what one strand looks like. So they're separated really nicely. There's no need to separate the hair any further unless you want a thinner style, but I'm gonna go ahead and install the hair just as it is for the full volume. And guys, with these crochet braided caps, it's easier to insert your needle through the braid as opposed to underneath. It's just something to do with the stitching and how they attach the cornrows to the cap. It's just harder to insert the needle underneath the braid. Now with crochet braids, my first test is always how easily does the hair knot? And you can see these knots are holding very securely. I only knotted the hair twice and these knots are staying in place. So right off the bat, I am impressed with this crochet hair. And I know it's a challenge because the softer the hair is, which is normally what we like, the softer texture, the harder it is to knot. But that is a challenging challenge I'm posing to these hair companies is to meet our needs, the consumer, in terms of these crochet braids. We need a crochet hair that is easy to knot, easy to install, but still has that natural look and feel. But it looks like Bobby Boss nailed it with this crochet hair. In case you're new to crochet braiding, I'm going to slow down the video so you can see exactly how to install the hair. You insert the crochet needle underneath the corn roll, attach the hair to the end of the hook, close the latch, pull the hair underneath the corn roll, then pull the ends of the hair through the loop, twist the loop once and pull the hair through again and cinch down the knot. That's called double knotting the hair. It's super easy to do, super easy to learn with a little bit of practice. So guys in the back, I always use the bricklayer method. So there's a gap here on the bottom row. So I'm gonna place the hair right here on the braid above it. And what that's gonna allow you to do is space out your hair and not overcrowd your hair in the back. You're not gonna run out of hair and then your end look will not look as bulky. As a rule of thumb with crochet braids, you guys, I found it's always good to space the hair out in the back and go back and fill in any gaps as necessary. This is with one pack installed. I have six packs total, so I should be good to go. And you can see on the bottom, I always leave that first corn roll empty and start with the second one with my installation. If I have any hair left over and I feel like I need to add hair here, then I will go back at the end and add a few strands to this bottom row here. And this is what two packs installed looks like. You can see I really spaced out that hair in the back. And I'm almost done with the wig. Only thing left to do is to finish that one corn roll around my leave out. So I'm gonna separate the strands into two and install the hair using the invisible knot method. All that is, is pulling one strand of hair through the loop instead of two. And I'm gonna continue that process until I've installed hair on that entire corn roll.
I'm all done with the wig. Now I just need to install crochet braids on my leave out. I'm gonna continue to separate the strands into two and use the invisible knot method for this entire section and we are all finished. And this, my queens, is the finished look. So what do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous, it's true to its name, it's has a lot of volume, it looks natural, it feels natural, the curls are popping, the color is just bomb. I'm feeling like royalty up in here right now. I love this hair, oh my gosh. Now I'll admit I was a little nervous at first, I wasn't sure when I was making this wig how this is gonna turn out. Number one, because the hair is kinda big, right? I mean, it's got a little bit of a Lion King vibe going on right here. But, it's a sexy Lion King, y'all. It's a sexy Lion King. So this is the Bobby Boss Brazilian Deep Twist. It's, I got it in 18 inches and I got it in the color 1B27. And you guys, I looked on YouTube, I didn't see any reviews on this hair um, from my very first crochet installation, which was the Free Trust, uh, the, the Bobby Boss Skinny Twist. I have loved Bobby Boss hair. It's such high quality. It's such really good hair. I love the feel of it. I love the texture. And um, it's most of the time, it's very easy to install. So I really like their uh, signature crochet interlocking method for making their crochet, crochet hair so it can stay in place. Quick installation, I am all for that. I have no cons with the hair. They, I, I didn't have to layer the hair at all. And I, I have fully anticipated on cutting in some layers in the front, but I like it like it is. And I'm just gonna wear it for a few days and then maybe later I'll cut in some layers. That's always an option. But I like um, how the hair falls without doing any cutting at all. The hair was very easy to install. It was so easy to work with this hair, you guys. It knotted with no problem. I could separate it with no problem. Problem. and for most of the installation I didn't even separate the hair only when I got in the front just to kind of thin it out for a more natural finished look um, love using the wig cap because I can wear the style anytime I want and um, I can take it off at night and I can switch up my style anytime I want and come back to this one at any point so I was a little concerned about the color right but Actually, you guys, I like the way um, it turned out. I like this finished look, and the color is not so bad. Um, once I got it installed, and once I got it on and started uh, styling the hair a little bit, I actually don't mind the color, so the color's not bad. I definitely wanted to try a 1B27 because I've never done that on my channel before. I've always been a little afraid of that because I am a little on a darker skin side. I'm a chocolate girl. Wasn't sure how the 27 was gonna look um, against my skin, but the darker roots makes it uh, definitely more doable and more natural. Big shout out to Diva Trust for sending me this hair to review. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some hair for them, and this is one of the styles that I selected. Um, so I'm so appreciative of that. Uh, you guys will notice that I do purchase a lot of my wigs and my crochet hair from Diva Trust. Number one is because they support me, so I'm gonna support them right back. That's just the kind of person I am. But number two is because their customer service is excellent, you guys. I purchased from them several times before. I've never had any problems with my order, and they ship so fast. So uh, Diva Trust is definitely one of my favorite uh, go-to online beauty supply stores. So I'm gonna leave the link below to where you can purchase this hair. Now, you guys, I use six packs of hair total. Um, so you can get, I think their hair is about $4.95 on their website. I'm not sure I'll put it below, but you can go to the Diva Trust's website. You can create a new account and use the discount code NEWDIVA10 to get 10% off your order. So I'm gonna leave all the links below so you can get your discount and the link to where you can purchase this hair. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this hair. Are you feeling the Swan B27 on me? How are you feeling the Bobby Boss Brazilian Deep Twist? I think it's gorgeous, but I wanna know what you think. Make sure you guys subscribe before you get out of here and join the Fit and Fabulous crew. I would be so appreciative and I have some awesome workout videos for you. Until the next video, you guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and fabulous. It's gonna be lit tonight. Baby girl, you get it in ton of partners, give me some of that Mix with the partners, look how she act Shape like a dance, but then it don't stop It's a good piece of me